If you are new here, my name is Trinity and I am on a mission to discover uh, classic fairy tales that are not European because I love fairy tales and always have, but I pretty much only know Grimm's and Hans Christian Andersen and similar things. So today is a tale uh, out of Africa somewhere and it is called Badger and Otter Are Friends, which honestly is the reason I chose this story for today because it reminds me of Frog and Toad books and I really, really enjoyed those as a child. Um, today's story sees Otter and Badger's friendship tested when they let anger and hurt feelings keep them apart. So, we've got a little bit of drama coming. Who can say how it shall end? Stick around. Um, one note, uh, there's only one character with a name and it's Suro. That's how I'm trying to pronounce it. T-S-U-R-O. If that is incorrect, someone please let me know what the correct one is and my apologies. Um, without further ado, Badger and Otter are friends. Badger and Otter became friends thusly. Let's exchange gifts as a mark of our friendship. I will bring you fresh honey every day, suggested Badger. How nice, and I will catch a fish for you every day, said Otter. They soon were dear friends and visited each other all the time. One day, while Badger was collecting some honey, he met Suro, the hare. Where are you going? asked the nosy hare. I am going to visit my good friend Otter, answered Badger. The next day, Suro saw Otter on the path and asked where he was going. I am going to visit my dear friend Badger, he answered. Now, Suro was very annoyed because no one came to visit him. To himself, he said, I will break up this friendship. The next day, Suro saw Badger on his way to Otter's house with some honey. The hare ran ahead, hid near Otter's house, and watched. When Badger got closer, he called out, Yo, Badger, do you hear me? Who is that? asked Badger. It is I, Otter, said the deceitful hare. Do you know that my wife and children are ill from eating your wretched honey every day? Badger came nearer, intending to enter the house, but Suro shouted, Go back! Don't come back here again with your honey. Badger asked, My friend, why do you speak to me this way? I told you, your honey has made us sick. I do not want you to bring honey here anymore. So Badger went away, and he was very angry. The hare ran home quickly, and when Badger was coming, he asked, Have you come back already? Was your friend not at home? I do not wish to speak about him, Badger said. He does not want my honey. He has insulted me. The friendship is over. Then Suro said, I would love to have your honey. Please give it to me and let us be friends. Badger gave it to him saying, it is too heavy for me to carry home and went on his way. When he got home, he told his wife and children what had happened. The next day, Otter caught a beautiful fish and started on his way with it to Badger's house. He said to himself, I wonder why my friend did not come to see me yesterday. Maybe there is someone sick at his house. I had better go and see. He passed Shuro's home, but the hare had run ahead and sat hidden, waiting, near Badger's house. Where are you going, Otter? asked the hare. I am going to your house, answered Otter, thinking he was talking to Badger. You had better not enter my house with your fish, shouted the hare. One of my children has been much hurt by a bone from eating your fish. I do not want your old fish. Now Otter was very angry, and he headed back home. When Otter passed Suro's house, the hare called out, What? Back so soon? Did you not find your friend at home? He insulted me greatly, and that is why I am going home, replied Otter. Then the hare, Suro, said, Give me the fish and let us be friends. So Otter gave him the fish and went home. Thereafter, Badger and Otter stayed at home and did not visit each other anymore. But one day, as Badger went to get honey, he met Otter on the road and said to him, You are a bad fellow, Otter. You insulted me greatly that day I came to your house bringing you honey. I did not insult you, said Otter. Who was it then? asked Badger. I do not know, but I was insulted at your house, said Otter. I am certain I never insulted you, said Badger. Well, then, let us renew our friendship and visit each other again. They both cried, thus they became friends again. When Suro saw Otter on his way to Badger's house, he said to him, why do you go to visit someone who insulted you? I want to hear more about that matter, replied Otter, and continued on his way. Hearing that, Suro ran ahead and sat hidden, waiting for him. Do you dare to come here again? cried the hare to otter my children have hardly recovered from the injuries they received from your old fish bones why do you come again otter replied stand there my friend i'm coming to you the hare called out if you come here i shall certainly beat you very well but i am coming when suro saw otter coming towards him he ran away as otter could not find anyone he called out who was talking here when badger heard this he came out of his house to whom are you speaking friend Someone was here insulting me, Otter replied, but I do not know where he has gone. Let us search for his tracks and see who it was, said Badger. 
They found Sarah's footprints and followed them to his house. When they reached the Hare's house, Sarah's wife told them her husband was very ill. How can he be ill, said Otter. I just passed him a while ago and he was quite well. I want to see him and find out why he insulted me. Oh, please come tomorrow. He really is so ill, pleaded Sarah's wife. Thereupon, the two went away. During the night, Zero removed his home, and the next morning, when the two friends returned, everything was gone. He is the one who tried to break up our friendship, said Otter. He better never show his face around here again, said Badger. And he never did. The end. So, I love a happy ending. So, obviously, I love this. And, uh, also, that the value of effective communication in friendships is basically the moral, and I really enjoy that. Um, I know it's simple for the sake of being told to like children and being clear and brief, but I really do like how quickly they were able, able to get over their little disagreement. You're like, I, I'm mad at you. Wait, I'm mad at you. Wait, nobody did anything. I guess we're not mad anymore. Let's be friends! And that that seems uh, seems like the way to do it. Just keep it simple and open and be kind to each other. So, yeah. What do we think about Suro the Hare? Uh, obviously, he's the villain in this story, but it does sound like it's rooted in loneliness. So, should Badger and Otter have tried to be friends with the Hare, or were they right to disregard him because the Hare's obviously mean? Um, I'm not sure. I'm kind of split. I would love to hear uh, other people's opinions on if the hair was just an awful, awful guy, or if maybe he should have been offered friendship instead. So let me know. Uh, subscribe, share, like, all that, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.